Hello all. Um, thought I'd make an updated video for uh, using Clonezilla. Um, it'll work on uh, your Linux installation as well as any Windows installations you have. And I uh, brought up the browser to the downloads page and for Clonezilla.org. And uh, just to take note of what it says here, Clonezilla Live Support is for legacy BIOS. Um, that's what I have on my um, system and what I what's using what's being used in VirtualBox. If you don't, if you have the uh, UEFI Secure Boot Secure Boot enabled, you'll need the, an alternative AMD 64-bit version. Okay, AMD or Intel 64. It's the same. It's just 64-bit. So we'll go to stable releases here. This link, and it says CPU architecture. Now the difference is I. 8.6 is uh, for a single core and less than 4 gigs of RAM, you know, 32-bit. And the 64-bit is the one I'm going to get because that's what I'm running. And it's multi-core, multi-processor. So it should be a little quicker. So select C CPU architecture. And I'm going to choose AMD 64. And it says if you're not sure you can use this one and it'll work for both so I'm going to use the MD64 because I know that's the one I want select a file type and it's an ISO and you go to download and it takes you to SourceForge okay now I've already had that have that downloaded so another thing I want to do is uh, get uh, gparted and to install gparted live CD go to the download ISO and same idea. Um, uh, I want to get the 64-bit because of the multi-processing uh, cores, and so I, I chose this one: stable directory of ISO slash zip. So we'll go to that. That'll open the source source page, and the latest release is here, and it's I486 uh, again for people who aren't sure, but I know what I want to use, so. Select this link, and then it's this one, 64-bit ISO. All right, and you click that, it'll go and uh, download. So I have, I already have those two downloaded. Okay, okay. So uh, continue on. Um, I installed Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit edition, and uh, I also added another uh, hard drive. So you can see it here in the dash, and you can see that it's empty. Go to system monitor, you can see that it's uh, um, pretty much empty except for the journalizing files and etc. So we'll just uh, unmount that, close. I made a text document here, okay? And uh, you go to edit, insert time and date, and whatever, insert. I'll save and close. All right, so let's uh, shut down. Actually, yeah, we're going to have to shut down the computer. And I'll open up uh, virtual box again. And settings, storage, this is empty. You see here there's the extra drive attached there. So anyway, storage empty. And I've already been using these, uh, so we want uh, Clonezilla Live. So I select that and press OK, and we press Start. And you should be okay that uh, most systems you use the default VGA 800 by 600, and give it some time to load. All right, on this uh, screen, uh, choose your language. That's uh, already selected for mine. Don't touch key map and start Clonezilla. Okay, so pretty straightforward so far. You just keep pressing enter. Uh, device image is the first option. Uh, local device, that means hard drive or uh, USB. Press enter to continue and it'll uh, scan the drives that you have. Now, you, this option here, when you back up and Restore, you want to choose the drive that you're going to back up to. Okay, so not the drive that you want to clone, the drive you want to back up to. So that's the second one, SDB1 in this case. Just uh, move the arrow keys up and down, press enter for OK, 
and then top directory I didn't make uh, any uh, folders in there and then press enter to continue expert mode is very simple it's not as uh, bad as it sounds so we want to save disk as an image we don't want to save a partition we want to save the whole disk okay if you have another hard drive if you don't then you have to partition your existing hard drive and then save the partition but this is for uh, saving a disk so you can leave it as that that gives you the date and dot on image file and that's the one we want to back up if you have more hard drives you'll see you'll probably see more options but that's the one we want SDA which has Ubuntu on it so just press enter uh, now here just uh, to choose your options use your arrow keys up and down and then uh, for the top one here where it says uh, client waste for confirmation I'm just going to press the space bar to unselect that option and the rest is fine and press uh, enter uh, for multi-core which I uh, mentioned in the beginning so that's the first option and add another zero or you can add another two zeros or whatever and press enter skip checking and watch this one uh, make sure you confirm that skip checking the image and do nothing when uh, it's finished and then press enter to continue as you see at the bottom and now it'll start cloning the hard drive all right uh, finished and I uh, just press enter to continue and then choose an option so if you want to power off your arrow key up to power off or reboot or go to command line so we're just going to reboot because this will actually uh, remove the disk image so we don't have to go back to the virtual box settings so just uh, reboot and then press enter and it should come up again and say make sure you the disk is removed and down here at the indicator you see that it's been removed okay then so one more enter and we'll uh, restart back up in Ubuntu so we're back to the desktop um, let's open our uh, text file we made and oh boy there we go um, Ubuntu is being strange Let's uh, enter a couple times and then edit and insert the time again. Okay. And uh, save. Close. And if we open our uh, new uh, hard drive, you can see it's here. If you right click properties, it's approximately 1.7 gigabytes. So that's a uh, fairly good uh, compression there. So we'll just right click and unmount and should be able to do this from the settings storage add we're going to add g part of now press ok i don't know if ubuntu will pop up and say i found something yeah it did okay so let's uh, go to the here shut down restart and we should be going into the uh, g part of um, editor and default again that's the first one and you press enter again wait for it to load same thing uh, don't touch key map uh, language preference uh, uh, defaults to US English I guess from where you download it from I don't know if not uh, just uh, type in a different uh, number that's presented to you and press enter so I'm gonna just press enter and start X the first option zero and uh, we should be in a GUI mode <laughs> sounds strange GUI mode okay so it automatically opens gparted you can see here this is SDA1 that's our Linux partition and here's SDD, SDB2 that's where our clone is okay so let's just uh, highlight the SDA1 where Ubuntu is installed right click and well, let's uh we can either delete the partition or let's just format it to extension 4 again press apply apply and then close then we'll just close this and then um, double click 
to exit and reboot. And I think it, it uh, does the same thing. It automatically, yeah, release the uh, image. So now we can uh, boot into Ubuntu, right? Uh oh. Well, of course, we just the uh, it's there's no grub because we formatted the partition. So we'll go to machine, or we'll go to the settings here, storage, and we'll add our clonezilla image back in. Press OK. Minimize this again and go to machine, uh, reset, and we should be booting back to Clonezilla to restore what we just formatted. So same drill, first option, wait for it to load, US uh, English, don't touch key map, and start Clonezilla again, device image, local disk or device or whatever you want to call it, press enter to continue, probes the... Uh, Drives, again, very important, select the partition that we want to restore from, okay? So it's the second one, not partition, hard drive. Or if you are using the partition restore or backup, then the partition. But in this case, it's the hard drive. So second one, enter. Top directory, press enter. Expert mode, and what do we want to do here? See, we have more options. Restore disk, not di not restore disk parts. We want to restore the local disk. Press enter, and it found the image right there. That's the only one we have. Press enter again, and SDA is the only one that we have. So again, press enter, and here um, we install Grub MBR. Well, we can, you can leave that. Automatically adjust NTFS. It's not. We don't have that. Um, non boot grub. Uh, non grub bootloader. We don't have that. So uncheck that. That's with the spacebar. Client weights. Resize if necessary is fine. And then uh, just press enter for OK. And use a partition table from the image. And again, do nothing. And then press enter again, and it'll start. Uh, restoring the uh, disk image. So we're near the end here. And it's been uh, restored. 76 seconds or so. Don't worry about any messes that trying this or trying that. It, uh, it, will there we go installation uh, press on any key to continue and uh, again we'll reboot wait for the countdown and confirmation that the image has been or CD tray or whatever you're using has been ejected which it just it was and then press enter continue and we should restart and back into Ubuntu and there we go so we'll open our uh, file again and oh yeah <laughs> i forgot we had to before i i made that change in there but uh we formatted the drive so i guess it works anyway the first time we put the date in so we know that's been restored obviously okay so whatever you do um if you're going to be you want to keep ubuntu don't don't delete this and again properties it's uh 1.7 gigs, so that's fairly small, and Clonezilla does support restoring from a USB drive, so you able to do that. And I've uh, used this many, many, many times on my system, because, and uh, it's handy not only for a backup, but it's handy if you want to switch distributions quickly. Uh, it only takes like five minutes or less to restore, say, Arch Linux or Ubuntu or Fedora or whatever you're working on. And like I said, it works in Windows as well. Okay? So that's uh, Clonezilla uh, backing up a disk, the entire disk, so cloning the disk and restoring. And uh, that's it. But yeah, that should be it for this one. Okay, so uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, everyone have a great day. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.